Hello everyone, this is Linda, and I hope you're having a great day, yes, and if this is your first time stopping by, I wish you would consider subscribing to my channel, and if you are returning, thank you for stopping by to spend some time with me today, yes. So listen guys, I've been drinking some um, lemonade. Now these lemons, my neighbor right across the street from me, they grow lemons in their backyard, and I use only three of those lemons in a two quart container and I made some lemonade and they, it, I mean, tart, it is so tart, got my whole mouth watering, <laughs> but it's so good. I love it, but uh, I won't, I'll use two from now on, <laughs> but they are good. It just lets you know how potent, you know, these vegetables and fruits can be when they are just grown organically. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway guys, listen, I didn't come here today to talk about lemons, right? I came here to talk to you guys about bugs. Yes, good bugs in our garden. Yes, we can have good bugs. Now listen, I'm going to be putting some pictures up here of what I'm talking about so you can see who, I'm, who it is I'm talking about, all right? <laughs> okay, so the first bug I want to talk to you about is the skank. Yeah, the skink is a brown lizard close to the ground. Listen, he looks really, uh, but he, he moves quick, quick, quick. And every time I see one, it seems like he's coming towards me. <laughs> and I'm trying to get out of his way. Do your thing, you know? But the ground, he, the skink, he eats countless of slugs and grubs. Yeah, let him go and eat them. Let them go and eat it because, you know, those uh, snails and slugs, you know, they're going to wind up on your vegetables. So let the skank eat them. <laughs> yeah. So the next is him, which is the garden lizard. Yes, that's my little king of the garden right there. Yes. And you know, I love him. I love him all on the flowers. I love him on the vegetables. He will just sit up there on the highest leaf, you know, and he will just look around, you know, and anything that moves, he's going to get them. He's going to get them. So take care of them. I love having these guys in my garden. I love them. Yes. <laughs> so the next one is the tree frog. Mm -hmm. Now listen, he is, he can turn his camouflage you know he can he can turn colors uh and listen he sings and eat at night yes i don't know if you ever heard a tree frog singing at night he sounds like a bird really yeah so i love having them in my garden they're really cool and this lady, the ladybug, everybody knows that she is just a uh, aphid eating mama. Yes. <laughs> yes, the ladybug is really cool to have in your garden. She's beautiful too. Yes, yes. Here we go with him, the wolf spider. Now, you know, he looks mean and, yeah, you know, it looks like something you really don't want to be around. And I know my girl Paula ain't having it. <laughs> I know she ain't having it. <laughs> but anyway, the wolf spider is just like his name. He just, he's like a predator. He will sit there and hunt these these uh, uh, insects down, he hunt them down, and he will eat them. Let me tell you what he eats. He eats aphids. Uh, he will trap other bugs on your on your on your vegetables and your fruits. It really he really don't care. He will wind them up in that web, and he will just suck all the life out of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a wolf spider. That's what he'll do. <laughs> yes. Okay. The hoverfly larvae. That's that. I know it looks so ugly. It looks so ugly, but you know, she's doing a good thing. And what she do, she eats, yeah, she eats aphids. Yes, she eats all those aphids. 
So, you know, let it go and eat them aphids. <laughs> yes, save that Nemo. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm having too much fun here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, lace wings. And you can tell a lace wing by, of course, the wings. You can see right through them, and they do look like lace. Yes, and she prey on aphids. Yes, she does. And most of these um, predator um, insects, they, 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 they prey on aphids. That's their number one prey, the aphids. I guess it's because it's just so many of them and they're readily available, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, um, yeah, the lacewing, she will, and she feed, uh, she feed also, she is drawn to flowers that produces nectar. Yeah. The ladybug larvae. That's her right there. Did we do her? Okay. But anyway, what she does is the ladybug larvae, she will go down into, you know, the deep in the middle of the leaves and get all those aphids out of the middle of the, the plants. Yeah, she... Uh, She's thorough. <laughs> Let me say that. She also uh, will eat pets, uh, pets and their eggs. She will eat the eggs of these uh, insects also off the back of the leaves. Mm hmm Yeah. Dragonflies. Mm-hmm. Dragonflies help keep gnats and mosquitoes in check in our garden. And listen. I know about gnats and mosquitoes. <laughs> Living here, we have so many mosquitoes. It drives me crazy sometimes, but those dragonflies will take care of this. She flies through the air, you know, and just grabbing them all as she flies. She's just a mosquito eating mama. <laughs> yes. The praying mantis. Yes, the praying mantis. You know, this is the cocoon of a praying mantis. And sometimes people really don't know what it is or what it looks like in their garden. So they just want to get it out, get it out of their garden. But no, they are good to have in your garden. I know we love to look at them because they are just so cool. They will eat just about anything. Yes, even each other. Yes. <laughs> The female will eat the male in a heartbeat when she's done with him. <laughs> yes, she will. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> and last on my list, two of them, really. There's two. It's the honeybee and the bumblebee. Y'all know she too. Ah. A garden cannot be a garden without a honeybee and a bumblebee. They get on those flowers and they just... <laughs> they just tremble and yes! And all that pollen stuff falling all over them. And the honeybee, oh my gosh, she does so much for us, right? She not only pollinate our vegetables, our fruits and flowers, Yes, and she makes all that good honey, you know, making good honey. But anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm having a great time. I hope you all have a wonderful day, too. I just wanted to give you guys a list of good bugs in our garden. <laughs> Later, y'all. <laughs>